received a HbA1c below 5.7 percent, which is considered normal. And so that actually happened to me. Yes. Where I was able to get down You're in to that, that range to that now. magic number. Right. It's not as low as they would like it to be. Um, but it's still low enough that you don't require medication. Exactly. Exactly. They would. They actually would like it a little bit lower, but um, but that was all through through keto. Well, and, and as you continue to lose weight, that will probably be yes. going down and, and down. And I will also say that I actually have been back. Yes. I, I went back this year, and my numbers have stayed consistent right. after like two years off of yeah with no medication metformin. at all so yeah. yeah so so it's helped me so i can attest to that right so the bottom line for this is that ketogenic diets have been shown to reduce blood sugar in people with diabetes and in some cases values returned to a normal range and they were able to discontinue their medications or have their doses yeah so. and, and i will say this about this because i've had some experience with this so you do, you know, you start keto, and a lot of times your doctors aren't supportive of you doing. It. Right. Uh, that's just reality. A lot of doctors aren't supportive of you, of you doing a ketogenic diet, even low carb diet. But, and we are not doctors. Nope. Um, but we do know and have talked to too many people that have had this success, where things have gotten reversed. But again, sometimes your doctor will be slow about uh, taking you off of medications. And, and it's just you needing to have a conversation with your physician. Because you need to be careful. Yes. Sometimes it can happen quickly. And yes. you can start feeling crummy because you're taking more yes. medication than you need to. Than you need to. Because it is happening quickly. That is a very good point. Because it actually didn't take me that long to be able to really reduce the medication right. and then eventually be able to get off of it. It didn't take that much time. Right. And, and so you do need to work with your physician as you do Especially if you've been diagnosed with diabetes. Right, because this diabetic. says 16 weeks. Yeah. So we're talking just a matter of months. So yeah. you, so you do definitely need, need to be, you do need on, to be yeah, uh, on top of keeping track of how you feel yeah. and letting your doctor know, hey, I might be taking too much. Right. And let them know, and let them know, you know, if, if, when keto's working for you, let them know that, hey, this is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And because one of the things they can't deny is the results. Exactly. Success. They can't deny the results. They can't deny the success. So they may not necessarily agree with what you're doing. Right. But they can't. You can't. They can't deny what they're seeing in front yeah, of. Yeah. Your blood levels. Yes. You know your tests. I yes, mean, if they're they, seeing your HbA1c going down, they can't do anything they, but say, okay, we got to take away some medication. Yeah. Here. They can't. They can't deny. So just. Just keep that in mind as you 